So last time we were here, I showed you guys a remote scoreboard interface in which uh, players would be able to self-report scores remotely, uh, which negates the need to hire a character generator or extra help. Basically, if people are short-staffed, then uh, a high level of stream quality can still be achieved without having to pay extra people. Uh, so some, cl some complaints we got on that interface were that the buttons were too small, that the, uh, there's too many features for the players to access. So while uh, we did make another boiled down version of that interface, I thought I'd explore something a little different. Chen came up with a cool idea in class in which players could use a communal chat, or rather the moderators of the... Uh, when Twitch is live, there's a chat that people can talk to each other about the live stream, different things that are happening in the game, etc. There's also different commands that people can use in the chat to access different things like social media information, what the bracket looks like, and uh, the idea was that moderators could use commands to set names and scores on the scoreboard remotely. This takes the burden off the players and uh, still allows for a situation in which you wouldn't have to hire extra assistance because there are often generally anywhere from like three to eight moderators in chat at any given time. Uh, so finding extra assistance in that sense would not be very would not be very difficult as they're just gonna be watching anyways. So here I've already set my name to Kochi. Let's set player two's name. Player name two set to Chroma. So if we go into the game are set and we're ready to go. So players will get into the game, hopefully not too distracted by what's going on. And uh, once one player wins, then you know, you'd go to the player camera, players would pop off, something cool would happen, and then you could go report score or um, the players would be able to get into their next game without distraction because a moderator would be setting the scores. And then you can get, just get right back into the next game without having to disrupt the players themselves. And such. So as you can see in the top left corner, my score has been updated. Different other things about the overlay could be changed too. Um, say perhaps uh, initially the moderators had inputted the players on the wrong side of the overlay. So if we do a swap, then the player info's player information will be swapped. And once we get back into it, characters, names, everything is swapped. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.